In this video, we'll be looking at the Nomadic's full-sized towel, which is one of the 10 best camping towels that I review on this channel. I will be unboxing and testing the Nomadic's towel against dirt, sand, and seawater. I will also give you a breakdown of its key features, such as absorbency, quick drying abilities, material, and more. Let's get right into it. Here's the Nomadic's full-size double-sided towel from REI, which was on sale, and I paid 38 US dollars for it, while the usual retail price is about $55. And with that, let's get into the unboxing. So, what's in the box? The Nomadic's towel doesn't come with a storage pouch, so you get only the towel. Here are the official specs for a Nomadic's full-size towel. These are somewhat accurate, but I'll just give you my personal measurements anyway. Length, 71 inches or 180 cm. Width, 30 inches or 76 cm. Weight of towel, 488 grams or 17.2 ounces. Packed size 9.5 by 8.5 by 2 inches or 24 by 22 by 5 cm. The Nomadic towel is made of 85% polyester and 15% nylon, made entirely of recycled materials and is made in China. The Nomadic's full-size towel has a hanging loop so you can hang your towel on a hook at home, on a clothesline in the outdoors, or even on your pack when you're hiking. To do this, you'd need a carabiner. You can also just hang it on a tree to dry without loop. And if you're at home, it's machine washable and can be tumbled dry. The Nomadic's towel is also marketed to be sand resistant, super absorbent and quick drying. Is it though? Let's test it to find out. To test absorbency, I measured the amount of water in this bucket, soaked the Nomadic's towel, and measured whatever water was left. So essentially, the Nomadic's absorbed 1,150 ml of water. As it weighs 488 grams, total absorbency is 1,150 divided by 488, which is about 2.4 times. I also performed the same test on a similar sized cotton bath towel which absorbed 1,100 ml of water and has a higher absorbency of 3.26 times. Although the Nomadics is quite a bit heavier than the cotton towel, it absorbed the same amount of water, giving it a lower absorbency. After soaking the Nomadics towel, I wringed out as much water as possible. Here's the Nomadics before ringing and after ringing. After ringing, the Nomadics weighed 1,141 grams or 40.25 ounces. This means that 57% of water was left. As for the cotton towel, it weighed 842 grams or 29.74 ounces after wringing and 46% of water was left. Because of its weight and size, I found the Nomadics harder to wring out than the cotton towel. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, please hit that like button as it will really help me to produce more content like this for you. Thank you. After ringing, I left both the Nomadic's towel and the con towel to dry outdoors. The Nomadic's towel started off at 1,141 grams or 40.2 ounces and dried completely in about 1 hour and 45 minutes. On the other hand, the cotton towel took 2 hours and 15 minutes to dry. When left indoors to dry after ringing, the Nomadic's towel took 16 hours to dry completely in contrast, the cotton towel took much longer, drying only after 27 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this drying test. Although the Nomadic's towel did not wring out as well as the cotton towel, it dried a lot more quickly. For this next drying test, I measured 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces of water for the Nomadic's towel and also for the cotton towel 
and left both of them to dry outdoors. This is to make sure that both towels absorb the same amount of water. The Nomadics towel started off at 588 grams or 20.7 ounces and dried completely in about 26 minutes. As for the cotton towel, it took quite a bit longer, drying in about 40 minutes. I also conducted the same test indoors. When left indoors, the Nomadics took 3 hours to dry completely. On the other hand, the cotton towel took much longer, drying in about 7 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this 100ml drying test, which shows that the Nomadics towel dries much more quickly than the cotton towel. I soaked both the Nomadics and the cotton towel in seawater, wringed out whatever I could, then sealed both in separate plastic bags. At the two-day mark, the Nomadics had a damp sea smell, which didn't smell too bad. On the other hand, the con towel smelled sour and unpleasant. At the four-day mark, the Nomadics had no change in smell, while the cotton towel started smelling like food that had gone bad. I also checked for mold, and there wasn't any. For this grass and dirt test, I dragged both the Nomadics towel and the con towel along some grass and stepped on them. The Nomadics picked up a few stray leaves, but it was very easy to shake them off. The cotton towel picked up a little more dirt, which I thought came off easily, but after getting home, I noticed some dirt was still stuck to it. For this test, the Nomadics beats the cotton towel. For the sand test, I covered both the Nomadics towel and the cotton towel with sand. Surprisingly, for a beach towel, quite a bit of sand stuck to the Nomadics. Thankfully though, the sand was easy to shake off. Sand also stuck to the cotton towel, but shaking it did the job as well. Both towels did well in the sand test. The cotton towel might have performed better than you expected because it's not fluffy and has short piles. The Nomadics towel weighs 488 grams or 17.2 ounces, whereas the cotton towel weighs 337 grams or 11.9 ounces. The Nomadics is heavier because it's a beach towel and is much bigger. But even so, it packs down to about the same size as the cotton towel. Here's what it looks like beside the cotton towel from the side and also from the top. For further comparison, here's what the Nomadics towel looks like beside a 16 ounce and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top. The Nomadics doesn't come with a storage pouch, but does come with a hanging loop for easy carry and drying. Unfortunately, because it's so big, if you're not tall like me, the Nomadics will drag on the ground. You also need a carabiner to attach it to your pack. To fold the Nomadics towel, just keep halving it until it packs down as small as possible. The Nomadics towel is soft and smooth to the touch and isn't stiff at all. It's very comfortable because it does not stick to my skin and after I dry off, it doesn't leave me feeling like my skin is still wet. As for sizing, it's much bigger than a regular cotton bar towel. As for quality, the black stitching is consistent with no gaps and the material is intact with no loose threads or fraying. After about 4 months of light usage, the weight of the Nomadics towel was still the same, so no material was lost and the printing on the towel did not fade. Also, it does not bleed when washed. The hanging loop is stitched down nicely to the towel and is really secure, but you have to bring a separate carabiner to hang it in most places. To sum up, the Nomadics towel is really comfortable and the quality is amazing. I read the reviews on REI and here's what I found. Positive reviews said that the Nomadics towel is a high quality towel with great design. It packs small, is fast drying, is sand repellent for use at the beach, and is soft and comfortable against your skin. Lastly, it's an extremely versatile towel and can be used anywhere like at the gym, beach, pool, or even for travel and camping. I agree with these. I found a Nomadics towel comfortable and the quality was amazing. It packs small for such a large towel, is one of my faster drying towels, and it's easy to shake the sand off. On the other hand, negative reviews said that there was no storage pouch and it's expensive, which I completely agree with as well. The reviews on REI were split on a couple of features. The first was size. Some people liked the generous size, while others felt that it was too large and wanted something smaller. 
I think it's a great size for beach use, gym use, or something like that, but I personally felt that it was a bit big for camping, and it's definitely too heavy for backpacking. I would prefer something smaller and more lightweight. The second feature that the reviews were split on was absorbency and drying. Some felt that it was very absorbent, while others thought that it did not dry off well. Personally, I found the absorbency of 2.4 times to be not that high, but I felt that it dried me off well and I did not feel damp at all. So, what are my personal pros and cons for the Nomadics towel? Pros, the quality of the Nomadics towel is fantastic and I can see it lasting for many years. It's very easy to shake dirt and sand off of it. It dries at least 50% faster than a regular cotton towel and is one of my faster drying camping towels. It's soft and super comfortable. It doesn't stick to my skin and it dries me off very well. Last but not least, it's a great overall towel with versatile usage. As for cons, I found that this size of the Nomadics towel is a little too big for me because it drags on the ground and the size also makes it difficult to wring water out. It's also a little heavy and is my heaviest camping towel. I think Nomadics is other lighter and smaller variations which I did not buy but I might in the future. You can check those out if you want to. Also, the Nomadics is my most expensive camping towel. Would I recommend the Nomadics full size towel? Well, if you like large towels and you don't mind the slightly heavier weight, the Nomadics towel is a fantastic high quality pick as a camping towel. It dries at least 50% faster than a regular cotton towel, smells a lot better, shakes off dirt better, and packs down to about the same size despite being much larger. Compared to other camping towels that I bought, the Nomadics towel is one of the fastest drying, one of the most comfortable, and one of the highest quality. It is also much more versatile and is the best towel to use at the beach for yoga, etc. It is expensive though, but for the added durability and quality, I do believe it's worth it. If the Nomadics towel is out of your budget or you need something more portable, here's a video where I bought 10 of the best camping towels on the market, tested them rigorously and gave all my recommendations, including a best budget pick towel and a best portability slash backpacking towel. If you enjoyed this review, I'm sure you would love that video too. If you prefer reading over watching, please visit my website at campingguidance.com where you can find all this info as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.